Here is a quick video to describe uh, measuring angles on the cart uh, using the Cartesian method. We have the cardinal method, which you are perhaps familiar with. Uh, if I had an angle uh, going uh, some object traveling in this direction, we would have some angle here. This looks like it's about 45 degrees. This measurement in the cardinal uh, in the cardinal method is 45 degrees north of uh, east since this one is the east, we're going north of it, or this angle, which is the same kind of arrow, is 45 degrees east of north. When we do the um, Cartesian method, we're not uh, doing a north or east measurement. We're actually going to instead count everything based on where it is in regards to this direction. This direction is a measurement of zero degrees. If you're told a ball was thrown at zero degrees, it means it's traveling straight this way. If you're told an angle of 45 degrees, when we count in the Cartesian method, we count counterclockwise away from the x-axis. So this is a 45 degree angle. This is a 60 degree angle. This vertical y-axis is actually a 90 degree angle. Well, what we do after this is we keep, we keep counting based on reference to the x-axis. So this right here is a, and I don't know if it's exactly right, but it looks like it's about a 110 degree angle. So of course we just keep going around all the way here. If a ball was thrown perfectly this way, you could say the ball was thrown at 180 degrees. If it was thrown directly this way, Again, we're counting from our x-axis counterclockwise. So that's thrown at 270 degrees. And then if it was thrown at this angle, whoops, I missed the line. If it was thrown at this angle, if this was 20 degrees, let's say, well, we know a whole circle is made up of 360 degrees. So an angle, whoops, I don't mean to do a straight line. If a ball was thrown at that direction, that would be, while well, a whole circle is 360, there's 20 degrees missing out of the circle. So 340 degrees is the angle that this ball was thrown according to the Cartesian method. Of course, if you're doing the cardinal method, this is 20 degrees south of east or 70 degrees east of south. But because we're using the northeast, southwest as our reference points, um, but in the Cartesian method, we only use the x-axis to the right as our reference point, and everything calculates counterclockwise around from that.